Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I write to you, my son Timothy, that ye wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given unto you. It didn't say carry the warfare is not this madness we do around. The warfare is having an understanding of what your role is in making the word of God become a reality. And brothers and sisters, I bring you good news. We have fasted for today. We have prayed for today. The, all the departments and workers have prayed. We have prayed and I assure you, the devil will let you go tonight if you are interested. If you, are, if you are not interested, there are other miracle service, services that are coming. But tonight, if you are tired, you can tell the devil is over. There are families that have been tied down. There are some of our fathers. They are not doing their responsibilities as men. And you think it's just like that. Nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. Are you hearing me? Nothing just happens. Satan knows that Jesus has died. Satan knows that he's given the church the victory. But he also knows that we are lacking in understanding. And we must keep contending. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight is my night of liberty. In the name of Jesus, tonight is my night of healing. It's my night of deliverance. It's my night of breakthrough. It's my night of restoration. Let me talk about marriage a little. Because we are going to confront that thing this night. There are many people. If the power of God does not step into your life, you will never marry. I don't care what you rob, foundation, the next one after it, whatever it is. Because the problem is not your physical appearance. There are powers that tie men down. The Bible says he told, he said, what seest thou? Zechariah 1 verse 18. He said four horns. These horns have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Israel against jerusalem so that no man will lift up his head he say but i have sent carpenters i have sent carpenters we are going to pray let me preach to everyone here that marriage is the will of god are you hearing me marriage is what absolutely the devil knows what marriage can do if marriage did not affect Satan, he will not fight it. Are you getting my point? Sister, the devil knows why he's fighting to make sure your husband does not come. But this night, this night, the Bible says at a prophetic word, bones that never saw each other for a long time started relocating till they came. There is a husband for you. Don't let statistics deceive you. Whether it is 10 men, 10 women to one man, is none of your business. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says you shall not call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. He said, when men shall say there is a casting down, what is your testimony? There is a lifting up. Many ladies are afraid now to an extent that people are just becoming desperate. They say, do you know there are no husbands? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you there are no husbands? My God will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to address issues. It's a miracle service. It's not a healing service. Miracles are more than healing. There are many of us here, we are not sick. But our family needs divine intervention quick. Financially and otherwise. There are many of us, everybody in your family is a graduate, but nobody is working. Everywhere you go, they drive you. Some of us even went abroad. You went abroad, you came back. And you are looking as if you never went to school. That devil must bow this night. Hallelujah. And for those of us who have been told by the doctors that nothing can be done about your situation, I bring you good news. There is a way out. Soon as I yes, one day I feed you can soon I soon as I yes, one day I feed you can soon I soon as I yes, one day I feed you can soon I yes, soon as I yes. For some of us, it's academic bondage. People keep mocking you. They think you are lazy. You are reading all you can read. You are doing everything. But there are horns that have vowed that you will not arise. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are horns that, you are, that have vowed that as far as admission is concerned, you won't get it. Or as far as this is concerned, they mark scripts. When it's time to mark your own, they forget it. Come on now. Don't tell me that's a coincidence. When you know the realm of the spirit, you know things do not just happen. Hallelujah. A lecturer just looks at you and vows to punish you in that department. What did you do? I just hate you. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is that? That's a spirit speaking through that person. Hallelujah. And there are people here who have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. At least I know that I got two text messages by some people. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And he opened the womb of Rachel. God can open wombs. I don't care what they say is there. How many of you have seen a bulldozer trying to throw something down? Whatever stands it way, it clears it. Whether it's called fibroid, whether it clears it away. This is the God I serve. Hallelujah. Some of us have been giving all kinds of reports. And they've said you may never be able to have a child. Even if they remove your womb, you will give birth. Hallelujah. Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. Her stomach started growing. Be it unto me. When Joseph saw her stomach growing, he said, I will divorce you. I have no business with what is happening. And the angel said, what are you saying? Keep this woman for that which is in her. How it entered the word of God. He says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Shortly, we'll rise up and pray for five minutes. And that prayer is aimed at steering anger in you to say, Lord, I'm not going to go back the same. Hallelujah. You know, many of us hear words like this, but the impetus to make it our word, that's what we lack. So you can rejoice over other people. Hallelujah. You must get angry and say, Lord, as you're visiting men this night, I'm holding on to you like the woman with the issue of blood. Let people call me unclean, no problem. That's why I'm here. 
Are you getting my point? You must get angry. Especially for those, there are so many people you could not get seats. You can't just be standing outside. And then at the end of it, you just go back and say, I didn't get seat. Say, Lord, as a reward for this standing, the devil must bow. Hallelujah. Jesus wants his glory to be revealed. And let me tell you something. All things are possible. Say it after me. All things are possible. The Bible says Jesus healed them all. He didn't say he healed some. He didn't say he healed the, the ones that could be resolved. Then the ones that have gotten so bad he could not do anything. The Bible says he healed them all. That means he delivered them all. Hallelujah. And some of us here are standing in for our family members. You know that we care about family here. We are convinced in this place that if your family does not experience what you call salvation, your Christianity is not yet complete. He said, as for me and what? He didn't say as for me and myself. As for me and my house. It's not enough for you to receive breakthrough. When there are people in your house who have not experienced that, they must be opened to this reality of the revelation of the power of God. Isaiah 61. Arise, shine. Isaiah 61. Let's see what the Spirit of the Lord came to do. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord, the Master, the owner of the universe, has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to do what? Bind up the brokenhearted. He had sent me to proclaim what? Liberty. That means those who have been tied by ancestral causes and yokes. And they have said nobody will cross this boundary. You are the one who will cross it for the first time. And tell your family members the door has been opened. Everybody can now freely pass without bowing down to a dacon. Without bowing down to a deity. There are some of us, as you are sitting down right now, our parents are putting pressure on us. Come home or come to the village. Let them go and bath you with whatever. Let me tell you, Africa has not forgotten where they are coming from. They are still practicing it. It's just that we are practicing part traditional religion and then on Sunday we are doing religious Christianity. Some people cannot just rise. It's called limitation. You know what limitation is? You don't remain there. You will move up. But it's like there is a mark that has been placed over your family. Nobody rises there. You see a man rising, doing well. He can get a job. One day, he will come back. Those deities are proving to you we are alive. But tonight, somebody, Kabali Kabarosataya, Somebody will walk out and for the first time, you will break those barriers. And say, people in my house, just get children without getting married. Because of frustration. When they are 55 years and no man is coming, they say, okay, just get pregnant. At least let's have children. And you will say, you are the one who will break that. And you will usher in your children and everybody. There are those who say, they have vowed that your degree will remain a piece of paper. You have gotten degree, you have gotten masters. But there is nothing around your life like that. Everywhere, a man will vow a pastor and say, bring me your CV. When you are about to visit that man, someone will come in your dream and now molest you. You get up the next day to go and the man will say, I cannot remember telling you this. Ah, yeah. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Men and women anointed to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To 
break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter university or even to complete it. And the devil has fouled. He said it has never happened. And all hell is breaking loose. They say frustrate her. Frustrate him. Frustrate them. Man de kabata tabalata. Sekele posata. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize their prophetic destiny? Come on, pray. Pray. Tonight is a night of judgment. Tonight is a night of justice. Get angry. Tonight, I will break limits where my father did not enter. I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere pray inside and outside. Begin to pray. I break limits. Satan, enough is enough. Hey! Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again, you pray in tongues. But until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break, the Lord was ministering this to me, is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. 
There are some of us, what must leave your family this night is the plague of death. Some after two, two years or three, three years or by September or a particular month, somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick. Patterns of wickedness. When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally. You will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here? Our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling. Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family this night you must begin to contend i can't remain ss simply because everyone is like that i can't remain as because everybody is like that. I can't have eye problem because everybody has it. Get angry. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them in. Say na 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 Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power. To heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake them, 
so God shall praise just those outside the power of God is falling I command devils come out come out come out I command powers demon spirits I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the angels of God are moving everywhere outside the power of God is shaking every demonic hole acts of witchcraft yokes curses those outside lift your hands again lift your hands I just want you to focus on the screen those of you outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again no power will hide right now one two three go 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 come out come out of them devils yokes bondages by the fire Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Jesus. The fire of God is coming down right now. Mightily. Shekete. Mekoto Sota. Take a prayer scaba. Some bread take it. Take it. Bring them out. Take it. Take it. Take it. Can break it. Le bossa. Em break it. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Shepa rekata. Man break both so protos. E break it. Le bossa. Pretista paria nando sta paria. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. So protos so paka. Ma prateko sopai empreto stipali ala baba baba baba. Se se kete baba 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 baba. Se proto sopre kete bala baba. Hallelujah. 
this row, lift your hands. The angel of the Lord is standing in this row. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this row, right now, in the name of Jesus, I want you to shout, Jesus, right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 There are still many people outside. Please, outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside. At the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there By the blood I bring a separation I bring a separation By the blood now Now, 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 now. I bring a separation By the blood The mystery of the blood The mystery of the blood The mystery of the blood
Bring the lady. Bring her here. Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. But the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. Out. Now, leave her. Out. Never return again. Now, all the devils here. At the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two, so go, 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 out, 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 out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Be free. I set you free. Marital delay. Give me a hand. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Go. Out of her. Now. 
Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now, at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I cause that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zego Palada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sila Barado Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka Sete Laman Paria. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. 
One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cost I I cost I I where is the woman I spoke about? One my mother was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is, this is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now hold on. Why are you? I want to. It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. In the darkness. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her? Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain at used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything will touch me with my husband, there's nothing. 
I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image, or just say different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into a university. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hand. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen prophecy every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost receive your admission listen whether you know what you are writing or not May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, that Lord, oh, man, 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 who fess it, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Parada shi amakrodi siza ma paradi ata zego shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No, shila. All right, you must. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out. You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high and throne. Help me worship us. Thou and
marriage marriage we are going to visit the issue of marriage right now please i want you to listen i'm just flowing as the holy ghost is giving me grace sister look at me just look at my eyes you must release her right now it's time for you to go out you go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I set you free let it leave you now let it leave you now Please, whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name in the name that is above all names I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost Please get said something mighty will happen in this place now. Every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now, as you shout Jesus, they will depart from you now. One, two, go. Every marital delay, go, 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 go. Go, let marriage, spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you, may your life partner come into your life. I prophesy, I call forth your life partner, supernatural marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lady has been healed of chest condition outside. Check yourself and run out here. Check. It looks like ulcer. You just feel something leave you. Please check and run quickly. Quickly. Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just minister to me. Please check. Check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has healed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? Another one? Come. Come. You've been healed. When God speaks to one, he speaks to many. Look at just one prophetic word. Give them the mic. Is it working? What happened to you? Just tell us quickly. Okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. You felt something leave you. Yeah. Do what you couldn't do before. I felt pain in my chest. Completely. Hold my hands. Never returns. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go forever. Come, what happened to you now? I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How long? For I've how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs is even in my bag right now. The drugs, you go and bring yes. it. 
Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names. Hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. Ulcers. Ulcers are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will. When hook you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. To hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe, do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, all right? I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six months. Six months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, pain. breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again in the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we we're outside and we shouted, Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, he must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus, long sightedness, short sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth, in any part of your body what's wrong with him eye problem bring him god is healing people look at look at a miracle look at a big miracle look at look at this look at this look at what is happening to these people look at eyes are opening come on give jesus praise eyes are opening receive your miracle receive your miracle every kind of eye condition Hallelujah. We we'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's his, What's the problem with him? Look at this. He can, eh? 
Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? This I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? We came together with him. Mama? Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your no no let, let him lay his hands on your eyes. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa, local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus healed his eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command his eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him if you've seen anything. Can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is it? Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light. I saw and it went you saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up, all right? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again? Yes, a sharp light. You've been using glasses? I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in you my eyes. A sharp and I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until is, you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Who brought this boy? Okay. Father, How are you? Father. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? As Please was, make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as, as I fell down and I'm coming. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! 
Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? He's, he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Uh, what was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? <laughs> to the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. First God, I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me what and you today like yeah or something? today i was in class and my i was, were reading my friend was not asking me what's wrong with me i'm reading the word i'm mixing the word i'm like it started since this year and she's like okay i need glasses i'm like i don't need glasses oh when you are reading yes the, you will be skipping yes, the I'll, words I'll, skip the word, I'll go blank and i don't know why what happened to you now when we we're praying i laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye and then a light just just hit me and my hands touched Light again. You see the light? My eyes got very hot. And then Your I eyes got open. hot. Yes. And you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51. Just verse 1 and 2. Let's and see. came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hand, and to the whole of the Pit, whence ye are digged, look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and got them. Right now? So but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely? Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely? Yeah. May be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought you. Oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eye used to catch Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eyes. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh-huh. I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, so my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eyes would be itching me. I was okay. like... Start feeling sleepy, but now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria. Please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. 
Line them up very quickly, please. Help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting with this sickness. From the rain. Say, my God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is awesome. My God is awesome. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ.
accident look at, at me at since when i think a week ago now you, you can't walk the the nurse bandaged my leg so then what happened i started i couldn't walk very well again so i removed the bandage why did you remove the bandage because pulse was going out pulse was going out of the leg yes where is it ah oh, goodness look at this look at me brother yes, sir. look at me He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. 
Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't, just do what you couldn't do. He, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what, hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying up. You are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with him. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the fire.
God is awesome. He is He's awesome. Injection. It spoiled the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it. Mm, except with age. Except? With an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Yeah? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Dos pulis. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. Quickly, you are quickly. the joy of the That's whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please ushers quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, right? You are quickly. the joy of the whole world. Whole world. You are the great and mighty God. 
Is anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on, fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues is that okay please go ahead you do wonders in me Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O God, hands, o God. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverances, O God. Are you, Lord? 
all of creation call you Lord you are worthy here's your name Awesome God, how great Thou art! You alone, mighty are Your miracle. minute and say Lord touch me tonight I didn't come to watch others this is the last miracle service for this year please talk to the Lord we're going to be very brief tonight very sharp Proverbs 23, very quickly, just one prophetic word and we'll go into the business of the night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just a prophetic word for somebody tonight and then we will get into the business of the night. I tell you, God will do mighty things in this place tonight. Mighty. You see, the character of God is such that his power is greatest as the end of all things. Hallelujah. Verse 18. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It says, for surely there is an end. This is the first prophetic word for someone tonight. Take note, I'm under a very heavy unction. I'm not just making empty noise. Listen to me. Don't be fooled by what you are seeing. I'm under a very heavy unction tonight. For surely there is an end. For surely there is an end. For surely, no matter how long it stays, there is an end. Kataka kabakata. Rento sote kalakata over that terminal disease surely there is an end over that marital delay surely there is an end the word of god says surely surely it may have taken so long surely if god be god surely there is an end Makataba Ekotoskopa Mekete Rekotosha Marekete Rekos Empreketeka Mam Sopa Rekotoseketa Surely there is an end to poverty. Surely there is an end to weeping. Surely there is an end to disappointment. Surely there is an end to sorrow. There is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end to that weeping. Surely it will not continue being like this forever. Surely you will not be buried forever. Surely you will not be jobless forever. Surely there is an end. There is an end. If it had a beginning, it has an end. If it had a beginning, surely there is an end to that cancer. Surely there is an end to HIV. Surely there is an end to the assaults of darkness over your life. Surely, 
surely there is an end There is an end. It does not last forever. There is an end. I'm bringing you a prophetic word. There is an end. No, you will not die with it. There is an end. You've been writing jam for so long. There is an end. You've been writing wayek for long. There is an end. Brothers and sisters, surely there is an end there is nothing created by man that does not end there is an end there is an end hallelujah there is an end but there is only one responsibility on your own part the Bible says, and your expectation, your expectation, not your assumptions, not your grumblings and complainings, not your discouragements. He said, your es all God needs is your expectation. He doesn't want any noise, no grumbling and say, Lord, I came here January. I came here February. He said, all I need tonight is your expectation for surely if you have an expectation there is an end hallelujah Habakkuk chapter 2 don't turn there the Bible says listen it says do the vision tarry do the vision tarry things are permitted to tarry but they are not permitted to remain forever it says though the vision tarry not at the beginning not at the middle it says in the end it must speak though it tarries that little boy was born and there was a prophecy over his life that he would be the savior of the world it took 30 years though the vision tarried at the end it spoke though the vision tarries the Bible says in the end it shall speak and God shall not and it shall not lie. Why? The Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23 verse 19 God is not a man. That means lying is normal with men. It's part of the human predicament. But the Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. He said, no, he see the son of man. That means he is not limited that he can change his words. Before God makes any statement, he looks at his ability, whether his ability can sponsor the gravity of that statement. And it's on the strength of his ability he speaks. thy expectation thy expectation tonight drop whatever impossibilities the worship team led us and we prayed and we sang all God needs tonight is that you say Lord I know you are able are you hearing me this is the one word this is your own part if you can play this part tonight you will walk out with your miracle guaranteed hallelujah see listen let me tell you something listen to me brothers and sisters you see these things that we do are not just a way of doing programs are you getting my point
this is a prophetic platform that God puts together so that you can experience the love and the authority that comes with the name of Jesus. Do you believe this? Let me show you one scripture. And then I'll begin ministering. Luke 9, verse 1 and 2. I want you to know that diseases and sicknesses are curable. Look at me. If I ask somebody who is short to remove this bulb, the person may not be able to reach there. If you carry a theory and say it's impossible to remove the bulb there, is that true? It was impossible for you, but it does not mean it's impossible. Luke 9, verse 1 and 2. Then he called his 12 disciples. Can you give us an amplified? Then he called together the 12 apostles and gave them power and authority over how many? All, All demons. It says, and to cure diseases. What does a drug do? A drug does not heal. It cures. Is that true? Next verse, verse 2. And he sent them out. He gave them power before sending them. And he sent them out to announce and preach the kingdom of God. And to demonstrate it by bringing healing. That means their presence comes with it. It's part of the carriage that comes with the grace. It didn't say to heal people. It said to bring healing. To bring it. To bring it. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? I want you to understand the kind of atmosphere. Because you see, the trouble with many believers is that when we try our, our human, our, we, are, we are very short-lived in patience. So when you trust God to heal that cancer and it looks like medically speaking is deteriorating. And then you wonder and say, Master, we have told all night. We've had this thing again and again. But tonight, I bring you a word. There is an end. The Bible says, in the end, the vision will speak. This is December. You will not take anything that is supposed to be accomplished this year into next year. Yeah. Next year is a fresh cycle. Are you getting my point? Surely there is an end. Brothers and sisters, it does not take time. It only takes God. Ah, it doesn't take time. It only takes God. For when God steps in and stamps his feet upon your situation, it will change at once. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Yeah. I hear the chains falling. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. I hear the chain falling. I hear the chain. If you are sick in your body tonight, listen, if you are sick in your body tonight, I want you to prepare to walk out of this place healed. I don't care what you came with. Are you listening to me? Prepare to walk out of this place. Listen, no matter how small it is, don't give excuses. No matter, even if it is headache, even if it's your hair falling, contend tonight and say, Lord, this is December. I would have been quiet if it was September. But this is December. There is no other 2013 again. There is an end. Hallelujah. The last day is the day when everyone can partake. He said, Jesus said on the third day, if any man thirst. The last day is the day for everyone. Hallelujah. 
We are going to take instant miracles in this place. Instant miracles. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? So I want you to have expectation. As we begin to pray. And as the word begins to come. Shake up that sickness. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do before. Listen, listen, listen. See, brothers and sisters. We are not faking this thing you are seeing. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? Well, this thing, we are not faking it. What do we have to gain to come and stand here and just be acting? We are not faking this thing. So you had better believe. Don't just let your neighbor rejoice. If it was Joshua Selman who was doing this thing in my own strength, I'll tell you just go home because I'm wasting your time. Oh, but there is a name. John said there is one mightier than I mightier there is a government that backs what you see happening and tonight we want to let every devil in hell know that we arrived December and we must finish strong hallelujah you're going to rise up and we'll pray just for five minutes and in that prayer you're going to say Lord visit me I will clap for my neighbor but after I receive my own whatever you came here with tonight Lift your voice and begin to pray. No matter how impossible it is, take your eyes, take your eyes, please, take your eyes away from any impossibility. Yes, Lord, you are able. Yes, Lord, you are able. Pray. Say Lord that cancer will go That barrenness will go Believe the Lord Believe the Lord Hey Hallelujah. Refuse to go back the same. Some of us came from end to end of this nation. You can't travel all the way in the air on the road and just come and enjoy and go. No, no. Tell yourself I'm coming to get something. Hallelujah. 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 Now, please listen. I want to encourage us, especially for those of us who are sick. It's important to respond to the prophetic word. Do what you cannot do. And please, when you, there will be all kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds. Not just healings. Hallelujah. Even those who will be delivered. Don't you think you are just falling for nothing? Something will happen to you. Hallelujah. Many of us, even as the meeting is going, we're going to be receiving words from our loved ones that things are happening, things are changing. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid and don't be ashamed. This is the last service. We really have to be very fast. I'm saying this because we may not have all the time again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you ready for what God will do in your life? You do not want to know the amount of prayer and fasting and travail that goes into these meetings. Don't let these suits deceive you. Hallelujah. Father, glorify yourself tonight. Let no man, let no man take the glory. Tonight, I ask you, your people are in pains. Your people are in tears. Their family members are dying. 
they are being eaten up by diseases and sicknesses and lord if you do not step in tonight there is nothing we can do Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee. O Israel. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Blessing. 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 There is a lady by the name Blessing. I'm hearing the Lord is ministering to me. Blessing. Please, if I just call your case, let's just hurry up very quickly so that we save time. Blessing. Shall come to thee, O Israel. Jesus. I need to pray for you. Look at me. Where's your mother? We need to pray for her. That that which the devil purpose will not come to pass. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O oh Father, step in into the mother's life and change things right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everything that is not of God be changed right now in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your stomach and I pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. Out now! Shall come to thee, O Israel. Hallelujah. My dear, it's you. You must let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let every infirmity, darkness, let this. Let it leave her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the other people, God bless you in Jesus' name. We have to rush. Praise God. I believe in casting out devils. No advancement, no technology will confuse us. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because at the root of many people's situations even what you think is sickness the power of god is present bring them out that devil of darkness listen satan comes to steal to kill and to destroy but he says I am come that ye may have life. Hallelujah. The Bible says upon Mount Zion certain things will happen. It said there will be holiness. And then there will be deliverance. And after that the way will be cleared. And the sons of Jacob will now possess their possessions. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the devil is going to bow tonight. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power.
is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Sing it once from your heart. again but I told you causes exist yokes exist there are people carrying them today who have been deceived that nothing is going nothing is wrong but on account of what Christ has done our job tonight is to stamp it by the power of the Holy Ghost so right now we are going to set on fire everything that has not been planted by God hallelujah I want you to get ready because the Bible says surely there is an end it says for surely there is an end if it had a beginning it has an end rise up on your feet everyone Hush. hallelujah praise the Lord see the power of God will shake many of us inside and outside to the foundations until everything that does not look like him leave. Are you getting me? There is, there is fire in this place, especially for those outside. We are going to count three and we will shout that name, Jesus. I want you to get ready. At the shout of that name, not just for you, hallelujah, not just for you alone but for your loved ones whatever will not let you go this night must go for you hallelujah are you ready now thank you jesus christ see i'm telling you i see a lot of oppression especially outside a lot of oppression this is why god has sent us bible says he gave them authority he gave them power said through who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness hallelujah lift your hands everybody at the count of three i want you to shout listen these are the things that limit people these are the things that limit destiny and tonight god has brought us so that we can experience his power hallelujah there's fire in this place at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside and outside the overflow here and the other one there shout jesus at the count of three and at the mention of that name let's see the power that will stand hallelujah tonight is your night of liberty bring them out please ushers be sensitive hallelujah are you ready now thank you jesus let your power move across this place inside and outside i confront gates and doors and altars and yokes and everything that is not of god the presence of god is here and in the mighty name of jesus it will bow are you ready now one two three let god's people go 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 every foul devil every wicked spirit inside and outside come out now come out now come out now let god's people go now let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let God's people go now. Are you ready to shout one more time? Are you ready to shout one more time? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. 
One, two, three. Sekete kete kepa, rekete tete tete. Epro toko posoto, mako paske rekoskoba, embreskoba rikata. Sekete tete karia ba 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 ba. Maka posko prekete, rekotosia. Every power, every altar of darkness, I set on fire outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. We dethrone principalities. We command an exodus. We command liberty. Hallelujah. 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 Now we are going to pray. Listen. This one is not just you right now, but your family members. Hallelujah. Many of you, what will happen to you now will be the power of God challenging the things that camouflage themselves in your family. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Don't tell me there's nothing going wrong. Don't let the devil confuse you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name again. There are a lot of people outside, especially from this first overflow. A lot of people outside. Listen, if you love your family members, I'd like you to stand. Stand for them. This is the root problem that disguises itself. It, it may have different names. He said the enemy has done this. Don't let technology confuse you. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Are you ready now? Lift your hands please. Jesus, thank you. My God, there will be a mighty wave of the spirit. All you need to do for me is to flash the simba. Are you ready now? At the count of three, with all your heart, my God, let your power move, representing families with dethroned yokes. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three. Jesus. Families be free. Families be free. Jesus. I challenge altars, yokes. Tying down families. Tying down families. Hey, I, come, I, come. I command. Lose them now. Lose them now. Every enchantment. Every divination. Now. Be loose. Be loose. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be loose. Second, 
For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. Now every foul spirit afflicting these people. At the count of three, time up, you must go. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. On your mark set, go. Go, go now. Go, 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 go. Don't waste our time. Go out of them and go now. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Bring her, don't worry, Osha. Bring her to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. Just bring her here. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Bring her. Don't waste our time. Go. Leave her. Leave her. Go. Now. Help. That's the end. Go. We don't have all of that time to waste. We have to do a lot of things. Hallelujah. Listen. There are two people outside. Ushers, I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. The power of God will pick them and bring them inside. Right now. It will happen right now. Two people outside. Please just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Right now. Let the angel that confirms the word of the Lord right now by the power of the Holy Ghost two people outside I hear the chains falling oh, I hear the chains falling I hear the chains falling hallelujah now listen listen hallelujah you had a dream please listen to me you had a dream and the snake a snake beat you on your left leg a dream it was in a dream but it was very real please who is that person please let's save them come out quickly you're a guy come out quickly you're a guy let's hurry up if you're still thinking about it go back to your seat snake beat you on your left leg Praise the Lord. Now, there is a lady here. Please listen. There is a lady here. You hear voices and they speak to you. This has happened for a long time. I mean real voices. Evil voices, I mean. Now, not the voice of the spirit. 
In fact, it's one of the things that has bothered you. You've shared it with a friend. Please, who is that? Very quickly. Very quickly, come very quickly. I'm just flowing by the Spirit right now. I give the chains falling. Falling. I give the chains falling. Lump in the left breast has just been healed. Lump in the left breast. The Lord is healing someone. Please check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Lump in the left breast just got healed right now. Hallelujah. Brother, hold my hands. Whatever has not been planted by God leaves you now. Look at me. Look at me. Your spiritual life. You see, the Bible says, He that breaks the hedge, the serpent will strike. Your spiritual life must be on fire. I give the chains. Please hold my hands. Let her go now. Thou devil. Come out. I see you in the spirit. Out. I give the chains falling. Look at me, my dear. Jesus will set you free. Okay? You believe that? Hold my hands. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let her be free right now from those demonic voices. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your stomach. We cancel that report. You will never hear any report of fibroid or growth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my dear. Look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. You want to be very serious with him. Because this is what the Lord is asking. It's not just the issue of healing and miracle. You see, listen, God is not a magician. It's not somebody you just run to, collect miracle and run and go back to do your life. My dear, the lady standing behind the two ladies with yellow. Lift your hands. You. Just lift your hands and look at me. How dare you defy the presence of God? How dare you defy the presence of God? Mm. For he will give us the eyes of eagles. Now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you are going right now. For I've seen you in the spirit. One, two, three. Out of her right now. Go, go, go. Go. I see the chains falling. Yeah. I see the chains falling. Hallelujah. God bless you. We have a lot to do. My brother, you love the Lord with all your heart. I want you to know that when you stay in his presence it melts away every darkness you must believe this hallelujah you must believe this jesus said satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself when he finds himself in you it becomes a doorway hallelujah the bible says come out from among them and be ye separate and touch not the unclean thing i set you free in the name of jesus i set you free in the name of jesus please quickly set you free now i want to pray for people with peptic ulcer peptic ulcer please peptic ulcer just come out quickly file out here quickly please let's save time our brother is wedding tomorrow and we don't want to take too much of their time while they are coming out let's appreciate our soon to be groom <laughs> hallelujah our brother Jimmy and his wonderful wife to be hope wave your hands Hallelujah. Tomorrow by this time they'll be happily married. So we really don't have much time. Peptic ulcer. Please come out quickly. Break every chain. We're going to minister to everyone. Just please, I hope we all have a sir. 
Please lift your hands. You. Yes. Just lift it high. Look at me. That devil right now I command to leave you. Just look at me. Just look at me. Right now. Take your hands off his life. Right now. Right now. Come out of him right now. I hear the chains falling. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Please look at me. This is not magic. We are not playing games. This is business tonight. Right? You have a role to play. Your role is to believe God. Forget about me. Are you following me now? Hi. Good to see you. Come. She used to hold my Bible those days. Come now. No. She used to hold light for me. Remember? First and second generation here and I. Third generation. Uh, Jebo people, they wouldn't know. Hallelujah. These were the ladies that went for crusade those days. We were broke, but we had God. So we knew it was just a matter of time. Hallelujah. And then they used to climb the trees to plug firewood. But now most of our ladies, oh, the stove is not good. I want microwave. I'm just joking, but I'm serious. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That devil is a liar. So I'll start with you. Can I pray for you? Please make sure you have your request. I'm so glad we have a lot of men of God here. I saw Prophet Bob celebrate him. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Manasseh in the house. Celebrate him all the way from Abuja. We're going to do a lot of that, but Pastor Williams is here. Hallelujah. The pastor house on the rock, Kano, is here. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Jake's all the way from Abuja. Bishop is here. Good to be married. He's just smiling. He has been smiling. Hallelujah. Okay, I see Suleiman. Suleiman is here. And we're happy to have Kenny back too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Let's, let's deal with the issues we have now. Praise God. Please, while you're standing there, I want you to be praying. Even as we minister to these people, the Lord will heal you now in Jesus' name. It will be very fast because we have a lot of cases to deal with. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah. There is something the Lord is showing me. There is someone is already becoming for you like madness. Madness. Sometimes you start talking or doing things as if you're not in your right mind. Please, if you're here or somebody brought him, immediately we finish, just bring the person out. It's, it's like madness. Hallelujah. It's like madness. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. As we worship in your presence... There is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, there is healing. The Holy Spirit and to touch is blowing Jesus. We believe, we believe Jesus.
minister to the sick. If you brought any sick person, this is the time to minister to them. Hallelujah. I won't be doing this alone. I'm glad we have um, a lot of hands and we're going to do that. Please carry him. If you, if you can't get up, just take him and let him lie down somewhere there so that we can have space. Come. Just turn. Ha. You won't be mad in Jesus' name. came with someone sick please come out quickly please if you came with children if you came with children don't leave them alone just come out with them so that we can minister to them quickly please bring them out worship team you're going to lead us and um, let's have all of them ushers coordinate them hold on what's wrong with her let me just start with her quickly what's the issue hold on while they come, please hurry up. If you came here for healing, just come and line up quickly. What's her issue? Let me just pray for her. I'm very touched seeing her. Who brought her? Huh? She came on her own. Did she tell you she's sick? What's wrong? Hepatitis. That's, that's what is wrong with her now. Or she just fell down. Hold my hands. Mm, I bring you life the power of the kingdom I represent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you are not hepatitis you are a spirit you won't confuse us go now out of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let her rise up whole just let, let, just let leave her down she will rise up whole hallelujah those of us standing here I need you to know that there are two great spiritual weapons that are responsible for the release of God's healing. Please listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing comes from the body of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Healing comes from the body of Jesus. But in scripture, there have been two categories of scenarios that compel the healing power of God. Number one, when people acknowledge the lordship of Jesus Christ. Second, when they cried for mercy. God cannot hear mercy and not act. Blind Bartemio said, have mercy on me. The Bible says, it is only for the Lord's mercy otherwise would have been consumed. He said, I will have mercy. Even favor can happen only when mercy is released. Hallelujah. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. The goal is not mercy. The goal is favor. But without mercy, the favor of God cannot show up. Mercy is not for sinners. It's the character of God that compels his compassion. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with getting born again. Praise the Lord. Look at these children. Only God knows what is wrong. See my friend with beer, beer cap. Come. Let's start with you. You and your brother. <laughs> Look at them. Turn around, let's see you wonderful children with their beer caps. You must be healed in Jesus' name. Alright, so I'll invite the men of God, Jakes, Bishop, Manasseh, Ejimi. How about healing the sick and casting out devils on your wedding eve? That's right. Rather than drinking beer and receiving a yoke that you cannot manage. Praise the Lord, Prophet Sir. Please, we're going to minister to them. Just just direct them it really doesn't matter who prays for you don't just say you must be no don't <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah worship team are you ready so let's pray thank you jesus we will do this very fast okay i'll pray for them go ahead god is a miracle walker god is a glorious God out of her God is go 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 a miracle walker God is a glorious God God is Yeah. 
Check yourself. Check yourself. A lot of things are happening. Please stand up, everybody. Goodness. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing somebody. You're having a burning sensation. It comes very strongly, especially in the night. Like your half right side. Almost the whole of your half right side. Burning sensation from your chest region down sometimes to your leg please wish that person come out quickly come out quickly come out quickly and then the Lord is showing me someone in fact a number of people you are up to five hallelujah you feel something moving in your body this has happened recurrently sometimes it's so much you even have to turn you feel it literally moving please come out quickly 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 please let's save time That devil must go. You're the one feeling this heat. I'll pray for you right now. Hold my hands. I rebuke stroke. Ah, wow. I rebuke stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
I command it to leave you once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ. Moving objects, it will go right now. You, okay, hold my hands. Look at me. I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. for you now everything that is not of God must bow the Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit it says glorify God in your body hallelujah daddy what's who brought him he came by himself what's the issue sir moving object of my body moving object you can imagine a man like this and the devil just comes that wicked devil daddy the Lord Jesus sets you free Please hold my hands. This is the spirit of death. This is not moving object. I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus says. So we bring you life from the kingdom that we represent. Satan, take your hands off his body. Blessed is he who comes singing the name of our God. Let your health and vitality be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. We may not have time to minister to you one by one. Just hold your hands together and I'll pray for you. All those in this category. So I can just use one person as a point of contact. Hallelujah. What happened to you? You had what? An accident. When? You enjoyed yourself. What did the doctor say happened to you? Oh, okay, can they treated it? But your healing is well. The Lord will accelerate everything. That devil is a liar. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. Father, I use my brother as a point of contact to all of these people. Right now, every devil of darkness that parades itself as moving objects in their body I command you now in the name of Jesus Christ off you go this moment right now in the name of Jesus set God's people free I command that movement stops in the mighty name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost the movement stops you will never have it again because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit it belongs to the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you. Please go back to your seat very quickly. I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease. I believe is the mother of somebody here. Um, where? Where is she? She's at home. You stood in for her? You believe Jesus will heal her? She will be healed in Jesus' name. Can I use you as a point of contact? Lift your hands. Something's moving. Changing. Sound help us, huh? I have an attack in the night. They attack me in the in my head. <laughs> that time, all over my body, is, I have. Uh, I used to defeat all the time. How long has this been? It's twenty since nineteen eighty-eight. Nineteen eighty-eight. 
That's how wicked Satan can be. Some of you were not born when the devil has been oppressing you. He's an old man. Satan is not young. That old serpent story is a very old story. Praise the Lord. The Bible called him a murderer. Who did he murder? Hallelujah. Mommy, look at me. What could you not do before? What can you not do now? Sometimes if that thing hook me, like four to five to six months, I can't get up and do anything. So since last year, throughout since November last year, till July this year, I am not been feeling fine. I sick really. If sick. you're healed now, will you know? Yes. Sir. Okay, watch your miracle happen to you right now. Okay, watch it happen. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes so that you enjoy the miracle as it happens. Praise the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. God isn't done with her yet. Heal her mother, Lord. Mommy, hold my hands. Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you for healing me. For healing me. Father, thank you. Thank Let your power set mommy free. Now, that wicked spirit that oppresses her, go. Your time is up. You are a spirit. And tonight you bow. The life of God is entering your body, mommy. That's what you're feeling. What do you feel happening to you now? Something is leaving you. Yes. Huh? Yes, my body. All my body is suffering. Is what? All my body is suffering. It's, it's shivering. Inside, yes. your whole, that's the power of God. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I set her free right now, Lord. Let the chains be broken now. Every power go from 1988 till now. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Mama, look at me. Um, it's not good to ask you how old you are, but let's do something. All right? Something that can make you tired and let's see what happens. How do you feel in your body? Go ahead. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. <laughs> Could you do this before? How do you feel in your body right now? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay right now. Give Jesus a praise. Do what you couldn't do, Mama. Put a song for Mama to dance. Look at, look at how she came. Come on now, worship team. Mama, you are going to dance to the shame of the devil. Look at, can you see her face now? Look at the woman that just came. A few minutes right now. Mama dance. God bless you, Mama. You are healed. Go back healed and enjoy yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ear problem. There's someone you came here with ear problem. You came here with ear problem. I'm seeing someone with ear problem. What, what was the issue? Oh, we have to save time. We have to save time. So, I do have ear problem. What does that mean? You don't hear very well with this? Yes, and sometimes like water. Which one do you hear well with? This one. Okay, close that one. Close both of them. Just look at me. Be open now. You sense fire moving along that ear. That's the power of God. Let it be open right now. I'm feeling what you're feeling. That's why I know that that's what is happening to you. The power of God is carrying out his surgery on that ear. Look at, look at. Can you see the power of God? Look at, look at what is happening. You see what is happening on that ear? Look at what is happening on that ear. Look at what is, is opening. Look at what is happening on that ear. That's the ear that is not working well. That's the power of God setting her free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
Look at, look at this. This is the, I'm not doing anything at all. I'm not doing anything. For those who don't believe these things, you know this lady. Look at, look at what is happening. Thank you, Jesus. Let her be free. Perfect freedom. Don't worry. Just let her. God is walking. 17 seconds and you are healed. Come exactly. Close that ear. Jesus, Jesus, mighty God, mighty God, Alpha, Omega, Jesus, beginning. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big shout of praise. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on all the ones that have a problem. <sighs> Mama, is your eyes? Ah, Mama, okay, no problem. No problem, she. Please, just, just leave her. You people don't know what she has gone through. Your eyes. What's wrong with it? Sometimes I, I can't see the thing you do for my friends. Like, what can you not? Okay, what can you see now? I'm seeing. I'm seeing, but I didn't see it well. You are not seeing this thing very well now. Okay, I'll pray for you. <laughs> she had faith. She said, ah, if they won't call my case, let me call it by myself. Let's hurry up. Hallelujah. How long has it been? For more than seven years. More than seven years. I can't hear with this ear. Ah, that devil is a liar. Yeah. Huh? Put your hands on both of your ears. You too? What's your own? Mine was since when I was five. Water just keeps on coming out. And Water comes, comes out. out. Yes. That devil is a liar. Huh? Your ear is not a river. The Bible says out of your belly, not your ear. So that's anti scriptural. Put your hands there right now. Put your hands, both of your ears. Please, I want you to expect the power of God to touch you. Lord, we give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. That devil of deafness, I curse you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I bring you life I bring you the power of the kingdom that we represent and that wicked spirit you see the same thing happening to her are you seeing the same thing this is not fake are you seeing the same thing now two different people same operation of the spirit look at look at it hmm. see her face she's even surprised seeing her hand shaking Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection in this year. Yeah, I speak to you. Be open. Just take your hand away. You'll see the power of God going through your body. Which one couldn't you hear with? Close the one you can hear with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a big clap. She doesn't hear at all. At all with that ear. In the name of Jesus. How about you? Which of the ears? Close the one that is good. Moses, Joshua, Ruth, Jesus, I'm free. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 
clap of praise. My sister, it goes forever. Do you believe this? You're happy about what God has done? It has gone forever. Mama, let's attend to you now. You came out because you believe in Jesus. I'm going to pray for your eyes. And your eyes will be open. Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. Perfect, Mama's eye, oh God. Cataract. Cataract. That's what is wrong with you. Cataract. That's the name of the sickness. I believe in you. I believe in you. For your power and for your glory. Now, is there any improvement? Is there any improvement? Yes. What can you see? Hold on. Hold on, please. What can you see now? I see them. No, no, no. You are seeing them now. now. Could you see them very well before? You could not see them at all. Yes. Try to tell me the color of the tie that man is wearing. Just blue. This, one. this tie, yes. This is yes. Red. red. What of what they are wearing? You couldn't see them before. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Mama, look at that time. What is the time? Can you see it? No, it's, it's not nine yet. Don't worry, just approximate. How can I help this woman? I hope I'm doing the right thing. Okay. okay. How many people are standing there? Yeah. How many gentlemen are standing? Two. 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 What color of suit is the other one wearing? The dark one. The black one. Yes. This one, like color, like uh, or something. But the other one is what color? Black. Black. Come on, give God praise. The Lord perfects your eyes, Mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's your mother. You are using glasses. Where are they? Okay. What can you not see now? People that are standing up far off them. And then in class, I can't see the board. I can't see what is written. So let's, let's just hurry up. What's, what's it for here? You are using glasses too. And you're tired. Okay. So. Okay. So we're going to pray for you. Please, let's... You don't know how terrible the sickness is until uh, it comes on you, but it won't come on you. We have a few minutes, guys, and we're done. We have to hurry up. Um, there's, a, there's a part of a prophecy where I speak over your life. Can we begin to collect the prayer requests so that we kill two birds with one stone? Please, your prayer request very quickly. If you do not have a prayer request, please write. It's not a religious ritual at all. God gave us an instruction. The Bible says how that Hezekiah went to the temple and dropped the threat before the Lord and said, Lord, behold your threatenings. So I'll pray for you. What are you all here for? Eye problem. My dad. My Your dad has eye problem. My grandmother has eye problem. Your dad too has eye problem. My grandmother. My grandmother. Your grandmother. Ah, how old is she? I don't know. No, 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 but the Bible talks about Joshua who was old. Okay, hold your hands together. Please, let's save time. You can begin to submit your request, please. Inside and outside, hold your hands. No, no, just these two. Just two of you, just two of you. Let me pray for them. Jesus, heal their parents, heal all the people who are sick right now. Let the power of God cause healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How about you? Eye problem? Lay your hands on your eyes, you two, lay your hands. You two, lay your hands. All of you. All of you with high problem. Ah, you play drums and you're blind. Uh, oh, your mom. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. 
now we're having more people just coming to say I'm tired what do we do now all right I problem both out here and wherever you are um, okay just lay your hands on your eyes and I'll pray for you please we're not playing games don't think we're faking it we're very very serious very serious very serious thank you Jesus please write your requests write your request this is December whatever it is that you're trusting God to do for you ha the power of God is moving already it's touching more than the eyes it's not just eyes Satan go go right now let that I thing live by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I touch your eyes be healed be healed be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of Jesus be healed please check yourselves you can go back to your seats and check yourselves check yourselves God bless you Sweetheart, out your eyes as young as you are lay your hands perfection oh Lord in the name of Jesus Christ perfection for Gladys please as you go back check yourself hallelujah let's have the requests there's someone that was diagnosed of a heart problem. You have a heart problem. I must attend to you. Heart problem. Please, heart problem. I want to pray for you now. This thing is eating you up. It's a heart problem. It's causing weakness in your body. You can't even move far. You begin to... Who is the person? You are the one with a heart problem? What did they say is wrong? You are not the only one. The person I'm seeing is very lean. This thing is eating you. Blood is not pumping well in your body. And it's causing weakness of your body. What's wrong? I Just go straight to the point. What is what, what did they say? What did the I doctor? was told my heart was too large for too much stress. Your heart is too large? For too much stress. For what? Too much stress. What does that mean? Doctors, doctors, okay. Your heart is too large for too much stress. Oh, from too much stress. Ah, uh -huh. stress. Footballer, we are going to pray for you here. You are going abroad. You are going abroad. You will come back and testify. I saw a plane just pass over his head. You are going abroad. He's a footballer. He's going to be a very professional footballer. Father, empower his feet. Bless him. Look at me. Don't forget about God. Hmm? Money can change people and money can destroy. Don't forget about God. You are an ambassador. We're sending you there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Heart problem? Ah. ah. What did I pray for now? Okay. Lay your hands on your chest. Let me pray for you. Right now, be healed from the heart problem. Brother, look at me. Lay your hand on your chest to return back to its normal size right now. Huh? There is no reason for you to be stressed. Huh? If you die today, the world will still continue. Please don't let the devil cheat you. There is no reason. The Bible says, cast your cares. This world has too much worries that can kill you if you let it happen. Thank you, Jesus healed now heart return to your normal position what did they say is wrong with him it's mouth. palpitation they call it hypertrophic uh, myocardia or something hypertrophic myocardia i don't uh, what does it do medical what does it do to you it doesn't yes. pump uh, my heart doesn't yes pump the lord showed me it's not pumping blood in your body it's and so it makes you me. weak huh? i bring out foam foam from my mouth you bring out foam sometimes See. i need to pray for you I'm seeing a wound inside you. Huh? You feel pain around your chest. This is a wound. Huh? And the wound is rotting. We need to pray for you. This is what is happening. Whatever the name is, I don't want to know. All I know is that this is the devil.
Machines cannot detect spirits. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. My brother, look at me. Look at me. If this meeting is just for only you, I want you to be healed. Huh? You believe it? How long has this been? Two months now. Two months. They yeah. diagnose you with this. Yeah. Lay your hands. Is that what is responsible for your weight loss? Yes. Huh? Yeah. You started losing weight. Yes, sir. Jesus. This is why you put this meeting. Whatever your name is, leave this body now. Heart be restored. You feel the fire of God moving around your chest. That's God. I command that wound to close now. Creatively close up this moment. Hmm, God is doing a work. In you. I command your weight to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will testify. You return here with your testimony. How about your heart problem? I feel pain. You feel pain? When I want to read. I can't read. You feel pain when you wake up in the morning. If you lie down on this side of the chest, it pains you. It's not heart problem. No. Listen now. Let me talk to you. Huh? Do you know what the issue is? What did the doctors tell you? Have you gone to the hospital? You have not even gone. I want to tell you the problem. It's not heart problem. Huh? I'm seeing a name, bronchitis. Mm. This is not heart problem. Huh? Hold your hand. This is as a result of cold. And it's, it's, it's affecting you. Huh? You think it's heart because it's at that point. It's not heart. Just lay your hands. You'll be healed. Jesus. Go! Be healed right now. Had what? Hot, hot. Vagina. He told me. That's, that's, that's the, what told me. Your heart. Yes. It's affecting your heart. When I can I see walk, you. You are even looking weak as you're standing right now. You believe Jesus will heal you? Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I thank you for the healing. Lord, let your power flow. This lady, perfect her now. Let her go. You are a wicked spirit. Release her right now the power of the Holy Spirit. Something is happening to you. Something is lifting from your chest. See? See the healing? This is, this is a spirit leaving her literally. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I change that medical condition. I plead the blood, the mercy of Jesus breaks every legal access. Mm. I hear the chains falling. With a shout, you will be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. With a shout, you will be free. Lay your hands on her chest, my dear. With a shout, you will be free. With a shout, you will be free. Thank you, Jesus. With a shout, you will be free. Perfect her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. She's free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Before we do that, come. Oh, he's gone. He's gone with his wife. Ah, okay. They have to go and rest. Praise the Lord. I wanted us to pray for them. We're going to pray on these requests right now. Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Sass. Please, can we just come as many men of God that can agree? Please. I believe in the corporate anointing. I believe in the grace of God. Please, I'd like you to pray. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Stretch your hands and pray in tongues. Shakata ba 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 ba. Rakata ba kata prakata kata bala da bosh. Rakata prakata foko so protoko to bala da baga da baga. Come on, pray, pray. Father, we thank you. Sakata kata prakata bala da 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 bosh. Lete krete kasa to poko to praga da bala da ba. Mam prakata cross. Perfection, oh God. 
Reto soto proto koto pakate Ente te preto soto no koto prakate Rento so proto so pregere bananabos Maka prakata banana maka de pregere bananabos E Christo so pokoto pregere bananabos Father, let there be miracles Testimonies We change this prayer request Reto soto no koto May they become testimonies in the name of Jesus, may they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus, change impossible situations by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I pray. Let your word in Job 16 18 be established. O art, do not cover our blood. Let our cries not find a resting place. Let every cry in the form of prayer, petition, not find a resting place. Until heaven hears and come true. In the name of Yeshua Amashir. We bind the powers of hell. We release. We receive answers. Tonight. By your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three to skip area. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to pray and speak over your life. Healing miracle is just one of the many reasons. There are very few people. The fraction of those who are really sick are very few compared to those who are coming trusting God for other areas. Finance, breakthrough, marriage hallelujah i want to pray and break the power of marital delay right now please lift your hands mm. thank you jesus the power of marital delay It is the will of God for you to get married. Father, I pray. Some of you, it will be for you and your family members. That power of darkness over marriages. Right now at the count of three, I command the power. Because I'm seeing a lot of families tied down. Wherever you are, you're standing in for yourself and your family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, at the count of three, let the power of God move in this place and outside and break men free to enter their marital destinies, no matter how long it is. You're ready now? I want you to shout that name at the count of three. One, two, three. Break! 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 Break, break every spell of marital delay. I break it now in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. Go, 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 go. Break, break in the mighty name of Jesus. Break every yoke of marital delay. Break. Break, break, break. We release supernatural marriages. Koto pariata, seke teka, seke le koto bakata labakaya. Break every curse, every yoke. We apply the blood by the mystery of the blood. Yet one last plague shall I bring upon Pharaoh. 
and upon Egypt after that he will let you go we release you into your marital destinies in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah oh yeah they are around okay please let them come they can come we want to pray for them those of you trusting God for jobs please lift your hands I want you to believe this while we will pray for them shortly but let's pray for jobs lift your hands I'm going to just shout Jesus once and the power of God will locate people there will be mighty testimonies between now and the next miracle service lift your hands promotion comes neither from the east nor the west I don't care who you know or who you don't know we are ambassadors and we legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven it is within our power to bind and lose he said for i am a man under authority and i say unto one go and he goeth right now in the mighty name of jesus i'm going to shout the name right now jesus let there be jobs whatever power is holding people down from jobs in the name of jesus by the favor of god i command miracle jobs in the name of jesus hallelujah now stretch your hands towards ejimi was you praying ejimi and hope ejimi was one of our ministers here hope was the head of department one time of the welfare it's good to serve the lord when you serve the lord he will bless you that's what the bible says stretch your hands Tomorrow there will be a wedding right here. Please, you are invited. It's compulsory for the whole Koinonia family. We must come around and back them and rejoice. The time is 10 on the dot. The reception is at Blue Roof. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. Father, bless them. Bless them. Bless them. We bless you with the blessings of the heavens. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with the blessings of fruitfulness. May you find favor with God. May you find favor with men. Your home is built upon love. Your home is built upon wisdom. Your home is built upon understanding and knowledge. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will raise godly children who you will train in the fear of the Lord. And your seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the righteous will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in your house. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you for serving the body of Christ. We bless you for serving this house. May the Lord honor you. May the Lord honor you. May your harvest come speedily. We connect you with a hundredfold anointing. May you see it speedily. We command men to help you. We command men to bless you. And Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. May you get the help of God in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please stand up sir thank you let me give you a big hug it's good to be married all your cake was not for nothing hallelujah god bless you thank you so tomorrow we're here hallelujah now lift your hands i want to prophesy thank you jesus please believe it for me this is the best part of the miracle service because this is where we allow the creative power that is in the word of god to find expression inside and outside please please beautiful you are wonderful you've been you are glorious Faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward. You are glorious, my God. Beautiful you are, wonderful you. You are glorious, you are 
command every door that has been closed over your destiny i prophesy to it right now be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god had anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. I prophesy upon your life. Rise and be distinguished in the name of Jesus. Rise and be distinguished in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I command every dead prayer life in this place. Every dead prayer altar in this place. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Come alive now. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, They got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their hand help them. But because you loved them and you showed favor towards them. I want to pray in the name of Jesus right where you are standing. May the favor of God mantle you in the name of Jesus. Carry the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Manifest the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon i pray in the name of jesus i command wine pressers i command bakers all those who will recommend you to your place of honor i call them into your life in the name of jesus i call them into your life in the name of jesus and David said, Is there any man of the house of Saul left that I may show him kindness? And the Bible says they brought a cripple called Mephibosheth. I pray, no matter what your limitations are, may God send people who will recommend you and honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flyeth by day, nor the noisome pestilence. It says they shall bear thee up on their wings, so that you will not dash your feet against a stone. It says a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. But none shall harm you. With your eyes shall you watch and see the reward of the wicked. I command that you are preserved right now. You have no covenant with death. You are preserved in the name of Jesus. the Lord the Bible says and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it and you will find rest for your souls I command that that direction you need for the next level of your life for the next level of your career in the mighty name of Jesus may you hear the voice of the Spirit may it be clear unto you may it be clear unto you I open ears and I open eyes to hear and see and comprehend that which the Holy Ghost wants for you in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah the Bible says the Queen of Sheba came and she brought gifts of gold and different kinds of gifts to come and hear the wisdom of Solomon. And the Bible says when she had the wisdom of Solomon, she said that she did not even hear a half. I pray that God will give you a dimension of wisdom that will compel kings to come and hear the wisdom of the Spirit in your life. 
receive that dimension of wisdom in the name of Jesus the Bible says does any man lack wisdom let him ask of God who give it unto men liberally let that dimension of wisdom come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ it says by me kings reign and princes decree justice I command that wisdom begins to function in your life from today I pray that any plague of death over your life he said let there be a mark of the blood upon the lintel and that when the angel of death comes when he sees the blood he will pass by I declare that there is a mark of the blood that marks you as touch not even as you move around during this Yuletide season I command death is far from your life in the name of Jesus Christ for God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind whatever puts fear in your life I want you to know that your God is mighty and able and let that spirit of fear leave you now in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus I declare whatever your family members have been praying and trusting God for before this year runs out in the mighty name of Jesus listen brothers and sisters it does not take time it only takes God it doesn't take time the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing he was creating he wasn't revealing what will happen tomorrow anyway the prophetic word created that scenario in the name of Jesus everything that is missing that your loved ones are trusting God for by the creative power of God's word we create breakthroughs in the name of Jesus every cause of lack and poverty and financial hardship in this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare Lord your people are givers your people are addicted to advancing the kingdom therefore I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ for God give it unto a man that is good in his sight wisdom and blessings and peace but to the unbeliever he gives to heap and to travail that he will bring to him that fears God may that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ may that be your testimony in the name of Jesus I declare that your business is blessed I declare that the works of your hands are blessed I declare that your ministry is blessed I declare that your family is blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be distinguished and be blessed you will go back home as a savior go and heal the sick go and cast out devils go and raise the dead go and communicate the mysteries of the kingdom I declare that the secrets of the spirit are given unto you and these secrets will grant you power with God and power with men in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says and immediately his fame went abroad the Bible says when he entered the city it was noised it didn't tell us those who publicized it I pray that all those who need to take word about that which God has put in your life that can bless men I compel them to noise it abroad in the name of Jesus Christ may it be known that you are a deliverer may it be known that you are a man and a woman of wisdom may it be known that you can solve problems all those who have been designed to honor the gift of God in your life to recognize to honor it I pray that God will bring them your way in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus and I pray that there be a hunger for the things of the spirit I plant a hunger in your spirit a dimension of hunger for the word hunger for the presence of God beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus Christ 
everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you one more time i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be returned to you i pray that before this year runs out may my god give you a sevenfold restoration you can choose not to believe it you will not go to hell but i prophesy again to you that before this year runs out may my god give you a sevenfold restoration in the name of jesus christ doors of opportunities be open doors of grace i command breakthrough into your life in the name of jesus every captivity in your life i prophesy surely there is an end and i call tonight the end of it in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah the bible says you shall call on one person and a nation will respond to you i declare that even those who do not like you will accomplish the purposes of god in your life i compel cyrus's by the power of the spirit to bless you in the name of jesus hallelujah and every request that you dropped here from the depths of your heart we stand in agreement in the name that is above all names and we turn that prayer request to a testimony now we turn that prayer request to a testimony now hallelujah thank you jesus christ keep standing I want to give an opportunity to those who have never made Jesus Lord of their lives. Please, inside and outside. Please, let's have minimal movement. All those who have never made a decision for Jesus Christ. The Bible says, come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy, and heavy laden and I will give you rest. It says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah inside and outside some of you have given your heart to the lord please let's keep standing if you can the elderly ones can remain seated but please the young people can we stand hallelujah in honor of this great miracle yes it's a big miracle now if you've never made a decision for jesus christ especially many of you outside or you have given your heart to the lord but you found yourself derailing this is an opportunity you have seen the hand of god but all of this is pointing you to the fact that God is love and he wants to establish a vital relationship with you. Right now as I count one to five, I want you to leave your seat. Forget about anyone you came here with and say, Jesus, I'm coming to you. Let's start all over. Hallelujah. Begin to appreciate them. Don't wait for anybody. You are the first person. One. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. Inside and outside. Please keep coming. Don't sit back there. Inside and outside, no matter how far we're waiting for you. Just hurry up and come. God bless you. Two. God bless you. Keep coming. But adventure, you've been born again and you're saying, Lord, I want to rededicate my life and make a genuine decision for Jesus Christ. Three. Please keep coming. Don't let anybody stop you. Whether you are a pastor, whether you are a bishop, keep coming. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. This is what it's all about. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's all about Four. Keep coming. There's one last count. No matter how far you are outside, you can keep coming. It's all about Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
thank you so much i salute you brothers and sisters for coming we do not take it for granted thank you for the boldness i want you to make a decision for jesus christ you don't get born again just because you recited salvation prayer but this is just to guide you and to help you lift up your right hand and say this after me from the depths of your heart it's not a special number mean it from your heart say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me and tonight i make jesus lord of my life forgive me my sins cleanse me from every unrighteousness I declare that I'm saved. The Spirit of God lives in me. My name is in the book of life. From today, I have a relationship with Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. And I make a decision to live for Jesus all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Now let me pray for you. Father, thank you. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. You have brought these ones by the power of your spirit. Preserve them. Let the same grace that brought them out preserve them. Use them for your glory. Empower them. May they be mighty men and women in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, hold on. Thank you for making this great decision. Praise the Lord. I want you to follow the ushers. We'll be having a meeting with you. We'll communicate to you tomorrow by 5 at the chapel. Hallelujah. There will be people there to come and pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, teach you a few things. And um, please try to make it. You'll receive a text to this effect. But just make sure that you are available and we love you. God bless you. Welcome to the biggest kingdom, the family of God. Just follow the ushers, follow the lady waving her hands. Bless you bless you follow the lady waving her hands hallelujah now all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time worshiping with us here at koinonia inside and outside no matter how far you are we have a prayer and a blessing for you i want you to leave your seat and come out gloriously god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you thank you for coming thank you daddy thank you mommy thank you for coming god bless you please keep coming if there's someone seated close to you who is not coming, tell him, come, there is a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Those outside, God bless you. Keep coming. We want to pray and prophesy and appreciate and celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord brought you by the power of his spirit. He brought you to change you. He brought you to build you. You will never be the same. Never, never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you here. This is Koinonia. Praise the Lord. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And this happens to be our last service for the year. We're happy having you around. Praise the Lord. We'll be resuming next year on the 10th. 10th will be our, our next service. And we'd like to see you again and again. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Prayer works here. We are men of faith and of the power of the Spirit. If we bless you, believe me, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands and prophesy. Speak into their lives. You are anointed. You are blessed. So go ahead and bless them. Prophesy. We release words of blessings. You are preserved. We plant a hunger for spirit. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.